What you are about to see is real. No trick photography, special effects, sleight of hand, or any other kind of hocus pocus. This is a demonstration of the cycling power of ATM Colony provided by ATM UK's Craig Carson and Mark Daniels. Hi, I'm Mark from ATM UK. I'm Craig from ATM UK. Today we're going to set up our new office tank. Okay, so the tank we've got um, is two meters wide uh, by 60 centimeters tall by 45 centimeters deep. Uh, holds roughly 550 liters. Okay, so it's going to be fish only system. Um, we've been down, seen our friends down at um, our local fish store, Aquatics Express here in Norwich. Um, bought a few goodies that we're going to run our tank with. We're not going to be running sumps, we're going to be running a couple of FX6 external filters. Um, and because here at ATM we don't like to import anything into the tank that shouldn't be there. We're using dry rock, reef bones, um, and dry coral sand. This will be the main setup, um, and we've got a few other goodies to show you as well. Okay, for when we set the tank up and for mixing the salt, we've got a selection of powerheads, um, just some random ones there. Uh, we've also got one heater that is more than capable of doing the system, uh, and then a backup just in case. And supplied by Apicadabra online, uh, we've got our lighting kit, uh, selection of T5 bulbs. We're going for a mix of the Red Sea Respec Blue White, the pinks, and a couple of the blue tinics. And then there's the obvious, the background. Okay, the first product we're going to use from the ATM range is ATM Mirage. We've cleaned the whole tank in this, inside and out. That will keep the tank clean and it's completely fish safe. Okay, so we've got our tank standing in place, we've put the backing on, we left enough space at the back for cables, pipes, that sort of stuff. We're now going to fill it with water. Okay, the water's going in, we're just going to get that about three quarters full. Uh, while that's happening, we're going to clean all the coral sand, get that rinsed, get that ready to go in. Once we're about three quarters full, we're going to add the salt, put the power heads in, get that mixed up. Obviously we wouldn't ever mix salt in the tank um, with, a, with a running tank, but with a new setup we can do that. Um, and then we'll do the aquascaping um, and get the rest of the tank set up, the rest of the filtration set up, um, and we'll be back in a bit. You can see we've filled the tank up just over three quarters full. While that's been happening we've fit the two FX6s, one in each cupboard, send and returns are in. That's all ready to go. Heaters are in, um, one either end, set temperatures on those, but nothing switched on yet, it's just all in place. Um, we've left a bit of space ready for when we put the coral sand and reef bones in, um, just for a bit of displacement. Okay, as you can see, we've got both filters running now. The only product we've used so far, ATM Supernova Carbon. Put that into your uh, filter stocks, put that into both canister filters. So the tank at the moment is just turning water over, we've got the two power heads in there running. Next step, we're going to set up the Zenai unit, Zenai reef, um, so we can show you the water temperature and it can start monitoring the tank for us. Okay, right now I've got the Zenai. Uh, I've got a laptop ready to go because we want to monitor everything for you. Uh, that's going to be kept on so we can monitor all the parameters. We've already put the slide in, that has to be soaked for 24 hours before we actually put it in the unit. So we've done that, put the slide in, so easy. Put it inside of the USB and we're going to stick it around about. There, yeah, should do it for the time being. And that will monitor all operators. Job done. Okay, we're now ready to get the tank salted. Uh, we've got our Senai installed at the moment. We're also monitoring with a little digital thermometer. Reading 11 and a half degrees C at the moment. We're going to mix the salt directly in the tank. It's safe to do so because there's nothing else in the tank. This is the only bucket of ATM hot salt in the country at the moment for our tank. Um, and it does get hot. Uh, it's got a childproof safety lid on. We've got exactly 17 kilos in there, which is going to get our tank perfect up to So here we go. Stick this in, and I'll try and keep you up to date as the temperature goes up.
This is some tide mill, car gravel. We've got a bag of three mil as well. No real reason why, just because that's what we decided to go for. I'll just get the air out of it. Yeah, that's good. Again, using reef bones because there's absolutely no way we're going to get any nasty hitchhikers, any aptasia, any big bristle worms. There's nothing nasty going to come out of that. But it'll all go live when we use colony. Nice big clothing piece. So we'll just put it wet now and then we'll have to stake in a second. And one of our favourite pieces. Nice big bit of ranching. Okay, so the reef bones are soaked for five minutes, no more air coming out of them, so they should be okay. Uh, we've topped it all up, which is quite nice now, ready to at the right level. Temperature has dropped a little bit more, so we won't be getting fishing today, but uh, we'll have a play with the aquascaping now, get that done, and then uh, we'll be ready for fish tomorrow. So it's time to actually get the tank stocked. Uh, colony nitrifying bacteria. Uh, this is the magic potion that's going to make it all work. Completely natural live nitrifying bacteria, the same stuff you get on your live rock. There's no secret science, science to it, it's just a natural bacteria. This stuff will feed from the ammonia that the fish give off, so you need the fish to make it work. This is the heart of the instant cycle. Right, time to add the colony. We're using two bottles here. We're going by the literage that each bottle will treat. Um, the large bottle is 378 litres, the smaller bottle is 189 litres. We've got about 550 litres, so it's around about the right amount. First job, give the bottle a really good shake. And then just pour it in. Again, you'll see it goes slightly cloudy. It is just a bacteria in the bottle, it's nothing to worry about. So, here's our readings from the sun at the moment. Um, this one's showing it's connected. Obviously, temperature 25 degrees C, 77 degrees F. Perfect. Uh, pH 8.21. Again, bang on and ammonia is 0 0.010. So a little bit of ammonia, but that's not a problem. We need that, we want that for the, the colony to work. That's all part and parcel of the, of the process. We're gonna monitor this over the next few days as well as the, uh, the readings change, and we'll, we'll keep well up to date. So, we've got our fish uh, ready to go. Uh, we've had a bit of a move around in the tank, because in here we have got a nice little selection. We've got two good sized lionfish. We've done the tank move around now, I've got it all ready for us because we don't want to keep getting a hand in there with the lion fishing. Not the best thing to do. Um, in here we've got um, a sailfin tang, um, copper band, Moorish idol, uh, the Koran angel, we've got um, a Niger trigger, uh, we've got a beautiful clown trigger that's been bought for us by Mark at ATM Nordic as a bit of a, a welcoming present to the new unit. We've got the two large lionfish. Um, that's all I've got. Might be some surprises after all that.
so the fish are all in now. Um, we've had the lights off for probably a couple of hours, uh, just to let everything get used to its new surroundings, um, just to get get kind of a feel of where they are. Um, and you can see in the fish that, that are in there, they're all out and about. Um, some delicate fish in there, and this tank has literally been full of water for about 24 hours. Um, and we're just kind of showing you what colony can do. The next thing is, a lot of people say about, they don't like skipping it because you've got to learn things as you, as you first cycle the system. You still learn it with colony. You still need to do water tests. You still need to follow your parameters and keep an eye on what's going on. It's very, very important with, with colony that you still monitor your system. You don't miss anything. So just follow the instructions and everything will be fine. So the lights have been on for about an hour now. Um, everything's settled. Plenty of movement in there. We've got some delicate fish in there, just to prove that we haven't just stocked it with bulletproof fish. We're just showing you what colony can do and how well it can cycle your tank. Most important thing with colony, you're dealing with living creatures. Follow the instructions. Turn off your skimmer. Turn off your UV. Turn off your ozone if you're using it. They're the things that are going to take the bacteria out of your system. Colony is a live bacteria. It needs to settle. So you want to skim off for at least the first four or five days. Don't do a water change for, we say two weeks, but you, if you start seeing nitrate after a week, then you can do a water change. But don't feed. Feed day one, lightly, as per the instructions, and then stop feeding. A lot of people say to us, I fed the fish because they looked hungry. They've got nothing else to do. They can't go for a wander down the street, they can't do anything else. They're going to peck at the rocks, they're going to look hungry. Don't feed. Follow the instructions, keep off the feeding until you start seeing the presence of nitrate. Once you see the nitrate in the system, your cycle's done. At that point, you can slowly start to feed again. Feed lightly, and then gradually over the course of the next couple of days, get back to your normal feeding regime. Your cycle's complete, your fish are happy, everything's ready. Right, so uh, we're five days in from having fishing. Um, everything's looking pretty happy. We've got, we've done our tests. We're probably on around kind of 0.25 on ammonia. Um, we've got 0.5 in phosphate, which is obviously coming out of the, the reef bones. Uh, gonna be using Agent Green in a little while to get rid of that. Um, and we're on probably around 20 parts per million on nitrate. So that's just showing us that the cycle's completely done, uh, we're finished, uh, time to do a water change which we'll do, we'll do next. Everything's ready to rock and roll. Um, you can probably see we're starting to get a little bit of cyanide. Uh, that's just obviously part of the, uh, the, the cycle that you'll get with any cycle in any tank, but generally a couple of months in. We've got it five days in, so everything's done um, and it's now time to use some outbreak on that as well to, to control that. But other than that, Fish all happy and healthy, tank done, five days on. Right, we're going to take care of the phosphate now. Uh, we've got 0.5 uh, phosphate reading. Uh, that works out on this system. Uh, it's about 14 millifold, which is reduced by one part per million. Uh, one part per million is the daily recommended amount to, to reduce it by. So we're basically going for half that dose. We want about seven mil to deal with ours. And literally, as you drip it in, you're going to see the cloudiness. And that cloudiness there is the active ingredients in Agent Green, combining with the phosphate and the calcium in the water. That's now created an insoluble bead. It's taken the phosphate out of the water. Uh, and that won't now break down into the tank anymore. It will be taken out by the uh, FX6 external filters. The phosphate is basically dealt with. Okay, so uh, earlier in the video I mentioned about the, uh, the cyanide starting to come in. Uh, again, part of the cycle that would normally happen in a, in a couple of months' time. We've had it off to five days. For this system, to deal with the, the correct dosage, you're looking at about half a bottle of outbreak. Because it's not very serious, just to kick the, the, the bacteria off in the system, we're going to put about a quarter of a bottle in. Again, you can't overdose, so it doesn't matter if we're wrong.
and that is the outbreak bacteria in the system. Completely non-toxic, um, won't do anything any harm. Job done.